Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for Bring Them Out with your hosts, Joel Richardson and Alan Hill. <laughs> Hey, everybody, we're here at the Sunnybrook Ballroom inside Joel's office with another episode of Bring Him Out. I'm Alan Hill, here with Soul Joel himself. Today we have a very special guest, the motherfucking animal, Ryan what Foster. Up? Dude, I was just about to say, that would have been a weird intro if it was anyone else except for Ryan Foster. <laughs> this guy's a, Dude, we got a real yeah. piece of shit on this couch. <laughs> no, no, and, and you made it about you, I was going to make it about me. Hey. We're inside Joel's office, be like, do you use it often? Because <laughs> this doesn't look like... This is very casting couch-esque looking. I don't know if you ever watched that. Oh, for yeah. real. For real. First yeah. time my ass. Uh, it's like, it's like, you, you have the L-shaped though. As he says it with his legs spread wide yeah. open. <laughs> Get to sucking. <laughs> you said 40, 40 minutes. You 40 minutes, God damn it. By, by the, I, I looked over. You sit, you sit where you sit, and then he went over there, and I go, I'll go over there. Because that, that is, it, it's impossible to sit up straight like that Yeah, right this there. is like a fucking heroin couch. Yeah, yeah totally. It is. Totally, totally. Yeah, tough business. How yeah, are we? Man. Yeah, good. So, man, good. Thank you for coming, dude. Hey. So I understand you got <laughs> circumcised at 15. <laughs> <laughs> I just, easy in here. I've told that joke so many times that people are like, did you make that up? I was like, no. I don't even know. I wasn't 15. I think I was third, maybe 12. Old enough like, to fucking know However, when, well, however old, high school makes it funnier. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Because I was like, I know it was whenever chicks started go, grabbing for your dick. And I was like, we got to get this figured out. My mom, it's weird too because we're Catholic. I'm like, what was the thought process there? And she's like, I just thought it was mean to do to children. I like it was meaner to have me have a fucking hood on my piece in the locker room. Like, like I'd rather have be in pain as a baby than fucking explain my dick <laughs> yeah. to a glass full of sixth graders. So what that the at hell 15, is that, buddy? You got unknighted. Yeah. yeah, it's basically. I'm like, listen, we're gonna go to the doctor. I'm trying to get sucked off by a girl in math class. It was fucking brutal. I was like, I can't explain. We were certainly off to the races. Alan, thanks for the notes. <laughs> yeah, he was like, will you talk about this? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Fucking right, I'll talk about it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Al Alan went through 10 things, and we, we got to the ninth, and we're like, we're good. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, he was like, is there anything you won't talk about? I was like, no. Nah, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, we're I'm good. pretty cool to let. Yeah, dude. When I, I've, there's so many times you're like, "Do you make that up?" And I was like, "Why would I make that up?" <laughs> like that's it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not that creative, dude. I'm really not. <laughs> like I, when people tell stories and they're like, "Is that real?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not fucking autistic. I can't just come up with like, <laughs> yeah. oh, I was at this party one time. I'm like, no, I actually have friends. Yeah. Not all. I'm not a regular comedian. <laughs> I yeah. got pussy before yeah. I started doing this. Yeah. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, I got into awesome. comedy to get away from pussy, dude. <laughs> I'm getting less pussy. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. Everybody, yeah, I don't know, dude. I cannot make up fake stories. I can embellish. Yeah, I can yeah, fib. Of course. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little white line. Well, dude, there's, my boys are all so fucking dumb. Like, when they come to see me do stand up, they're like, that's not exactly what happened. I'm like, yeah, if I tell what actually happened, I seem like a worse person. Yeah. I gotta, like, <laughs> yeah. I gotta fucking church it up, you dickhead. I beat myself in the best possible light here. <laughs> what yeah. are you doing? I wanna here? be invited back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like, yeah, they, they go, first of all, great set. Second of all, I'm calling shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I got some notes. I got friends with notebooks, too. They're like, well, can we go over a couple things? So I'm sorry, but we gotta go right to the notes because no. now that you said that, that it wasn't at 15. Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it went was right at your growth spurt. Then. Yeah. So it what was, was it? You you went because Alan said you and him hit a growth spurt say, at the same time. Yeah. I think I I didn't. Well, I didn't get tall. Yeah, totally, dude. My parents are always like, you were always tall. I'm like, no, I wasn't. I think I was tall in like elementary school and then middle school when dudes you got taller. Out. Like a lot of my friends were taller than me, and then like this is what happened to me, dude. This is why I want to bring I, this up. I want to say like six five. Eight, yeah, from like eighth till ninth grade, I shot up so like I completely lost all coordination. Like I couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Took me like a year to like catch back oh, up. Oh, dude, you're like a deer. to being a regular athletic you were like white a baby guy. Deer. <laughs> yeah, dude, totally, totally. Now I'm a super athlete. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's just like <laughs> the regular top flight <laughs> yeah, Olympics here I come. Go, good, I'm just a regular shit guy, shitty, <laughs> shitty white guy again. <laughs> <laughs> I can touch rim again. Thank God. Yeah, right. I can dunk, <laughs> the, I can dunk <laughs> the tennis ball. Yeah, be like, dude, I <laughs> used to be able to dunk. I had one summer I was really good. <laughs> At one time, if man. I took my diamond stud earrings out, I could dunk. <laughs> I had a really good <laughs> pair of sneakers. Yeah, it was <laughs> tough. Don't worry about looking over here. I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like making eye contact. He's like, <laughs> is Joel laughing? Tell me. Joel. Tell me. <laughs> 
I don't know. I, dude, I've, I'm so used to podcasting by myself. I stare. Like, when I go on people's podcasts, I'm like, eventually, I'm like, can everybody stop talking? To- <laughs> <laughs> we I, like, just forgot just how to, into the camera. I forgot how to podcast with people. Yeah, <laughs> we, all, we all have like, ADD. Yeah. And then, by the way, let's talk. Let's bring up Foster Care. What you mentioned the pod. Foster yeah. Care rocks, dude. Check it out. It's a Thank killer you. pod. It's a great, if you like it. I mean, you have guests, too. But Sometimes, most yeah. Most of them are, are yeah. you. And but it's t- kind of the Bill Burr kind of rant by yourself thing, which well, I, I started fucking good. just, dude, I get up because usually it's ma- basically to get out of talking to my girlfriend on the phone while I'm driving to work because <laughs> she'll call me. I'm like, I'm, I'm podcasting. I'm just talking to my, I put my phone on my dashboard to just talk to myself for like 20 minutes <laughs> or where, however long it takes me to get somewhere. So I'm just like getting in road rage incidents a lot. Yeah, it's mostly on. I mean, if you like stupid guys, <laughs> you're you're right up my. You're, I'm right up your alley. Wait, so then when you had the guest on, is it just whoever's riding shotgun? No, I just had people over my house just come and oh, chill. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. my girl makes noisy complaints in the other room. I got this dumb Italian producer, Mikey. Because I, dude, I, I don't know how to do anything. I can't fucking <laughs> no edit reels. Every comedian's got to be like, oh, fuck it, it kills me. I don't have a computer. I, I've recorded on my phone and I uploaded to YouTube. Well, I, knew, I knew we got along for a reason. <laughs> I was just about to say the, the, the parallels between you and Alan Hill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Wait, let me yeah. go back to this growth spurt thing Hit for me. a sec. Because this was wild for me, man. Because I was like, I was the jock. I was really good at sports. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Then I, I played. Uh, I played football two years. I quit yeah. because I hated the coaches. And then I got fat because I wasn't playing yeah. football. Anymore. You know what I mean? Fat could be good for football. Then I was, but yes, but no, I was quarterback and middle linebacker. Ah, okay, you don't yeah, want fat so good. in those spots. Yeah, I was D line, O line. Yeah, yeah. Fat is great. Well, that's why <laughs> if you're a tall kid, they always make you play D line. I'm like, I'm still skinny. Right. Like, what the fuck? Right. Ever and, uh, heard yeah. of leverage? I'm, yeah, I played football until <laughs> I had to start playing real black guys, and then I was like, I got <laughs> this ain't for me. <laughs> When you see oh like boy, a here we go. when you see like a two hundred and twenty pound actual athlete, you're like, yeah, say, yeah. I'm gonna sell weed. I'll yeah. see you guys. <laughs> yeah. Tells you where you stack. I'm up. gonna buy a car and sell weed. That's gonna be my move. Dude, that's a that's trip, what man. I stuck to. Where did you grow up? Uh, Trevos, Trevos Feastable, oh, yeah, yeah. like Bustleton. You know where Bustleton and Philmont? There, there used to be like a Somerton golf course there, and then the, it was like. <laughs> is that is that technically Philly or is it technically Bucks County? That's Bucks County. It is Bucks County. So okay, if you okay. made a left out of our neighborhood, like. It, I lived in like you know where Street Road is. Yeah, yeah. Street yeah. Road, Bustleton, yeah, the right Buck by Ben Salem. Yeah, Ben right, Salem's the next that, town. That's mm-hmm. why you promoted those show going, yo, dirt bags or whatever. Yeah, you pieces of shit. Those. Please, God, come, come and watch me talk jizz. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, you're bashing. I what, didn't what mean to misquote you. <laughs> what? Yeah, you pieces of shit. <laughs> come and see me. Sorry, my friends don't live in Royersford. <laughs> 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 you can cut my friend's yard with a goddamn push mower. All right. <laughs> Fucking sprawling dog, estates dude. out here. Dude. This is God's country out here. <laughs> dude, the, the show's going to be packed, dog. Is it? It's going to be packed. Let's go. Dude. I think I got a couple of retarded guys that made the trip out well, here. Yeah. I got a couple of <laughs> friends that got sober. I mean... And they're like, oh, I need. To, I need there you go. They need something to do. Hey, you fucking quitters! Was, if you're watching this, <laughs> pussy. Well, this is what we've done with a lot of the comics, like Canal, where we've uh, we've had you here a few times, yeah. and now like we're yeah. having headlines. So like people are like, I like you. Yeah. for Fifteen minutes, thirty. Minutes. I saw a couple. I saw a couple moms were like, I want to see you do a long set. I'm like, I want to see you do a long set in the parking lot. <laughs> Afterwards, I got a pregnant bitch. <laughs> Pussy start to come by nowadays. So <laughs> you're long. You're strong. You're down. Get your friction yeah. on. <laughs> fucking right. <laughs> I want to bang a lady with eyelashes on her headlights. <laughs> you know what I mean? it, was, it was either Sir Mix-a-Lot or Ryan Foster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking right. Let's go. I like that. Dude, every time I do a show in the suburbs, there's always some sad lady texting or like DMing. If, if I'm getting Facebook DMs, it's either gay dudes or fucking <laughs> suburb MILFs. Yeah. Like, I really liked you. Well, I'm like, dude, that, did you? <laughs> well, dude, that's what, you're the opposite of Jim Gillespie. Yeah. You're driving both sexes Straight crazy. as hell. He's disappointing them both. He's disgusting <laughs> everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jimmy. He's so awesome. No, he's the he's best. He's such a sweetheart. I love People him. actually, last time, because we just released his episode last week, and people Between were like, him and did, did, he re, did he really uh, hook up with a cowboy in Texas? Like, oh, oh, he did. I've heard oh, that he story. Like, no, yeah. I know, but I'm like, I heard it, he was was a, it was a dude from Texas. I don't know if it was quote unquote cowboy, right? I don't know. I, I heard he. They were in Houston, I think. The guy had a Mustang, so I'm like, stolen valor. You can't fucking. <laughs> you can't be a cowboy driving around a Mustang. I'm like, I want to see your truck, brother. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy's got to be a wild guy to fuck. Dude, that's got to be. Can't even imagine, bro. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, he's I've, a demon. <laughs> yeah, that kid. That'd be a fucking problem. Jim, you're sucking my dick. Can you get the chocolate off your lips? This is crazy. <laughs> this is. Like a, <laughs> Jimmy's got to breathe like a fucking animal when you're fucking him. He's like, this kid's wheezing. Put your sleep apnea mask on, dude. You're choking. 
<laughs> you're fucking him doggy style. He's got a sleep apnea mask on. <laughs> he's dropping a deuce while he's, you're sucking his dick. Oh, he's the best. Imagine how good your dick would look in that chubby little hand. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jim. Jim. <laughs> I love Jimmy. Oh, that's so awesome. Oh, my God. Uh, How are your thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> it's not time for the notes again. Yet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go, dude. Yeah, him and Rob, the gruesome twosome. Those oh, two are prices, hilarious. Man, Jimmy's prices. got great hair. Rob's hair is in fucking shambles. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm like, can you get some goddamn conditioner in that hair, brother? <laughs> you love him. Love him. Yeah. Gotta love him. Not only did he not drive to Texas. He didn't even stay awake the whole time. Yeah. What a road dog. Yeah, he was in yeah, the he, car. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking brutal. That's, uh, Rob's like, Mike, you're killing my gas mileage, dude. <laughs> like, <it's> like, <laughs> I swear to God, drag on this thing is crazy. <laughs> he makes it right in the trunk uh, of the litter yeah, when it's fuck, leading dude. out. <laughs> God, Jim, go sit in the back seat. We're fucking stuck. <laughs> Snow drift. <laughs> Get out of there in a wheelie. All right, who else can I make fun of? Well, what, uh, other, what other one of my friends have you had of here? But then you, you did, did you start uh, comedy in Ben Salem? Or you no, I the first open mic I did was... um. I was such a fucking idiot that like I uh what's it call it? I stopped kickboxing. Like I stopped I used to go to the fuck like I used to go to the gym every day and you're getting like fucking beat up. And then I have to go to a construction site. I'm like, what are you you're fucking I was like twenty eight and I was like, I want to do an open mic. So I went to I didn't have social media before I started doing comedy because I I got caught cheating on a girl on like Facebook that I didn't even have. I didn't know you could get tagged in like a picture in the background. Yeah, yeah. And I lied to a girl where I was and she was like, No, you're not, you're in this picture. I'm like, What are you talking about? <laughs> Like, I didn't look at Facebook. I'm like, fuck it. I hate the internet. I thought the internet was a fad. I was like, no way this is going to take off. Dude. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. they, were, they were wrong. Yeah. Were and right. then I, I forget. Somebody told me, I think I saw it on the boulevard, the Comedy Cabaret. Okay. okay. You ever yeah. been there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's that, Scarpati? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that fucking tool. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> fucking, I was the funniest guy they had in there, like, years. And he was like, nah, I can't do it. And, uh, yeah, I was. I would only go to that. I went to that open mic just once a week. I thought the, I didn't think there. I thought there was helium, and then uh, comedy cabaret because I didn't have that. And then I want. Do you know Dan Madden? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dan Madden was like, "How come you don't go anywhere else?" And I was like, "What? Are you, there's no, that's it. I don't get on helium." He's like, "There's like a million open mics." So then I started going to Jersey, and then all the fucking Jersey dudes were like, "Oh, Philly's clicky." So I'm like, "I think you guys are just pussies." So then I started going to Great Room, and then fucking next thing you know, I'm on the couch with two autistic guys. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I don't know. <laughs> wait, 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 where were you? <laughs> I think I was about to get blown by two dudes. <laughs> I fucking woke up. What's in this coconut water? Fair yeah. point. Fair point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I don't know who the fuck. I don't, yeah, that was the first open mic. I just went there for a while. Then I like had a girl. I would like take summers off. Uh, like I would go to like one a week, and then I took like six months off, and then like get to the first like year and a half. I do, but I, I think it's hilarious that you talked about k stopping kickboxing. Yeah, because you were tired of getting beat up, but then yeah. you went like I'm start. I'll try an open mic, get my teeth kicked. I like yeah, I like feeling like <laughs> shit basically. <laughs> yeah, it's a pattern there. Yeah, well I was like, if these fucking ugly guys can do it, I bet I could do it. I'm just, I'm like, I hate myself, but I'm confident. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. Self right, right, totally, I'm like, dude, that totally. is a weird I mix. think, it is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hate me, but I'm better than you. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> That's your I'm first so special. delusional. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't make fun of me. I'm, I'm so, making fun of myself. Yeah, right? I'm so delusional. Like, I fucking, I think my parent. I went with my parent. My mom loves Smash and Scalco. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And she took me to Healy. I'm like, I think I can do that. Like, <laughs> That's how retarded I am. I, love <laughs> I was dude. like, okay. Wait, you went and saw Sebastian when he was still at Helium? Yeah, dude. He and he was like the. It's. I think. St like I've seen a fucking. I've worked like a ton of fucking hilarious motherfuckers, and that dude crushed to a level. Where you're like, I don't know if he could be better than that. No shit. <laughs> you know, what I mean? like murderous. But yeah, that it's was hard it. to believe that. Uh, I think you were the one that told me that back in 2006, oh, Sebastian was still had a day job. Dude, do you ever hear? Yeah. See, you ever hear about or see the Wild West Comedy Tour documentary? No. Nah. Vince Vaughn put no. together this tour. Where it was, uh, check this out. The headliner was um, uh, John Caparillo. John Caparillo. Yeah. So th then you had uh, Ahmed Ahmed uh, was the the next guy down the ladder, and then uh, Brett Ernst. Brett Ernst was third in the in the pecking order. And yeah. Brett Ernst is a killer. Yeah. Uh, and the f opener, Sebastian. Sebastian, that's crazy. Who was still waiting tables. Damn. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, dude, I like. I don't even watch a lot of comedy. I kind of hate watching comedy. I love Patrice. And so, like, I my I grew up He's my dead. my yeah, rest, <laughs> happy birthday in heaven. Way to stay up to date. <laughs> yeah. 
He hasn't coming out with anything new lately. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he got canceled. Or... I guess I'll watch the elephant in the room again. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally all. Yeah. Yeah. He's the man. And then, uh, no dude, my my stepdad loved Andrew Dice Clay. So yeah, I saw, I used to fucking watch that all the time when I was a kid. He used to like tell me Andrew Dice Clay jokes when I was like really small. And uh, I went to daycare one day, and they asked if anybody knew nursery rhymes. And I was like, there oh, was an old shit. woman who lived in a shoe. Hickory, and they like they dunk. came and picked me up. Like, my parents came to pick me up. And, like, I was, like, fucking three years old. I didn't remember. And they were like, the, pa- the fucking teachers were dying. Because, like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, that's how straight I was when I was a kid. I'm like, nursery rhymes are gay. I'm doing the dice band. Dude. Wait, <laughs> you wait, were killing you? at preschool with dice Damn. material? <laughs> Plagiarizing. <laughs> Hickory dickory doc. This I girl I was did. sucking my yeah. cock. <laughs> They're like, your parents got to pick you up now. Get your fucking stepdad here now. <laughs> what's in the bowl, bitch? Yeah, what's oh, in the bowl? Shit. Yeah, I loved him. Did you ever my... get into uh, The Day the Laughter Died? You know I've that never album? seen that. I heard about it. He it's like went audio. bombed on purpose, right? It's only audio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he just—I can't it's, listen it's, to comedy. It's it's, it's weird. I can it's barely weird. watch it. I'm not going to listen to it. I get it. I dude. tried to listen to one of my sets on the way up here. I'm like, fucking turn around, go home. <laughs> 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 He's doing this is fucking dog shit. If you look through my recordings, I'm like hated it. They hated me. <laughs> yeah, it's just nonstop. But what are you going to do? But 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 let's go back to this nursery rhyme. Like, what happened? Like, I, I, did, your, did your parents have no? To she no. The, she said they when they came to pick me up at the end of the day, they were like they were all laughing because like. Obviously, oh. the kids had no fucking clue. We were in daycare. Oh, that's hilarious. Because my mom was like, we used to be like, he's going to remember one of these. And my dad was like, he's an idiot. He's not going to remember this shit. <laughs> and I went, and fucking. I have full faith that you're like, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I think it's going to work out. <laughs> Yeah, he might have remembered this, but he's not gonna remember forever. Yeah, he doesn't know his timetables, but that little fucker can remember. That's great. Yeah, tell him something racist, he'll repeat that forever. <laughs> Just kidding. Hey, but that's that's hilarious. How like the kid, like they say yeah. you're like a sponge. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Like, but you but you absorb the wrong. I stuff. only dude. That's what, but my stepdad just had me absorbing like Andrew Dice Clay and like Steven Seagal movies. And, oh, dude, and Tang. That was basically oh, all Tang, baby. Yeah, yeah. like so, an astronaut. Let's go. That's a huge influence on you, then. I, mean, I, that's, that's, I mean, yeah, like, like I watched like a lot of Rodney Dangerfield. I loved Dangerfield when I was a oh, kid. Dangerfield, like Easy Money and shit. But yeah, yeah. I didn't I mean, watch that much com- like new comedians. I don't like. I don't. Not even like in a dick way. I'm just like I don't want to watch comedy. Because then if you come up with a joke, you're like, did I fucking hear that? Oh, dude, that's, I, that, that would I have like nuts. a couple friends that I'm like, hey, have you ever heard this? And they're like, no, thankfully. That would drive me nuts, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, no, and I like, you know, you know, I'm no comic as you know, but uh, um, I don't watch, I hardly, I've, I've watched very few specials in the last five, ten years since yeah. I've seen so many shows. I, there is no special I've ever seen that's that's not as, that's better than a Friday night here. Yeah, you hell yeah. Wow, thanks, man. Yeah. Goddamn yeah. right. Yeah. Hopefully this Friday, tonight. <laughs> Damn right. Oh, by the way, we didn't even mention why you're fucking here, dude. <laughs> People know. Uh, it's too late now. Yeah. Let's promote the show now, dickhead. Yeah. Hey, yeah. when they're watching this three weeks from now, yeah. I, te- I teased it, but I didn't say. Yeah. It. But yeah, but we'll, we'll, so people know when it, when it comes back. Yeah, the, uh, the dirty, dirty show, show God man. Damn it. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. Rodney Norman is headlining right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the dirty show is going to start around nine thirty or so. Let's yep. go, yep. baby. Yeah, no yeah. filters off, baby. So what we did? Yeah, was I'm all... finally going to do some dirty Foster stuff. Foster filters. <laughs> Opposing, <laughs> not my normal clean stuff. Yeah. Hey, your your yeah. Tonight Show material, yeah. you've been running like, here. I can't say cunt. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, the first time I got booked at Helium. They're like, "Can you be clean?" I was like, "No." <laughs> and then she's like, "Just don't curse." I was like, "Oh, I can do that." Dude, yeah. I call it the Dave Premiano rule. Yeah. So I, uh, I, t- I tell. I love Dave Premiano. I haven't seen him in a while. I uh, at at fundraisers, I said, "Listen, no." Can't drop the f bomb yeah. a lot because it's which uh, one? It's, it's a fundraiser. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> hey, fuck. And, uh, and, and then I go. There's more. And then I go. The gay I go one. You can't say. Oh, oh I got That's you. what I was saying, brother. Oh, okay. Now, now I uh, wouldn't say it. Yeah. Now, now I, I mean, <laughs> you can't say the female c word. Yeah. So then Premiano goes up and says cocksucker. Yeah. Technically. On the line. <laughs> <laughs> no, but 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 I I said female C. He said male C. Right? Yeah. So okay. I go. I, I technically I'm not I'm not mad at yeah, you. Yeah, Dave's too smart. He can find a workaround. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, man. <laughs> Speaking of comedy <laughs> autistic guys, Dave. Yeah. Right, yeah. He's yeah, a man. I love how you said the workaround. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I watched three ladies in the front row go. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I haven't sucked a cock in years. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because that also is a female C word. Yeah, for real. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So there was no false advertising for this one. We called it the Dirty Show. Yeah, that's yeah, what. Fuck. That's good. Yeah. Well, that is well, good. Because sometimes I do, like, there's so I've been on so many shows where you're like, I get like four minutes into my act and I'm like, hey, I'm doing 20. 
So <laughs> you're either coming or I'm going to enjoy how much you hate yeah, it. Get on the I, bus. I, we can yeah. either do this or. I'm talking to you. Bus is three. leaving. Yeah. So. I'm talking to you, Road Three. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Balding lady. I'm talking to you. Balding so lady. get it together. Balding that was very specific. I'd be pissed if I was you too, but what are you going to do? <laughs> Some lady. God has favorites. I, I, it's not. You should have been Catholic. You should have been Catholic. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Anyway, oh, <laughs> I did a show at Fer. You know Fergie's downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a woker room. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. That was another. One. I was like, because I was like, oh, let me get up as much as I can this week. And I went there, and as soon as I saw the first comedian, going like, oh, they're out to fucking hate me. <laughs> and then yesterday, I got a DM from some guy, and he was like, my wife told me to send this to you. He was at the show, and it was like, why? What, what did he say? Hold on. He sent me. Was it his wife topless? No, it was a fucking dude. Listen to this shit. <laughs> He sent me an article of a picture. It said, uh, what is it? It's like New York, the New Yorker or some shit. New York Times, chiseled cheekbones and comic chops. Why we don't like our stand-ups, hunky. And I clicked through it, and I was like, tell your wife I don't listen to guys who look like this. And I took a screenshot of his profile picture. I was like, get the fuck out of oh, here, <laughs> And I just blocked him. That's my move. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck off. And then, I, and then his wife sent it to me, and I was like, oh, she fucking follows me, you fucking pussy. So whatever, dude. <laughs> but dude, I, I I thought I thought it was gonna be an endearing like. No. <laughs> yeah, no, no, not at all. He was like, "This is why we didn't like you." I'm like, "I didn't fucking ask for feedback, pussy. Yeah, Shut man. up. Let me give you a comment card." Dude, <laughs> yeah. that is that is hilarious. Yeah, I'm like, just don't laugh. Dude, for real? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah They'll be like, yeah, people get so angry. I'm like, we thing. could go outside. I'll beat the shit out of you, too. Yeah, I, yeah <laughs> hey, man. I'd rather not. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> yeah. You run uh, up, get done up, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Dude, it, it's it's so funny. Uh, this just happened to me this week too with the murder mystery. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we had uh, it's our first time we did it on Wednesday night, yeah. and and uh, a, a good friend messaged me on Facebook and said, oh, she loved it. It was great. Uh, but the the we had it's a buffet line. She goes, uh, you didn't have to do the bloody cookies. It was a bit much. It was like all murder themed food. <laughs> no, yeah. No, it was it was kind of like that. But it was like she said, uh, the line got a little long. She goes, thank goodness I was first in line. And I'm like, what, are you, no what point. the hell are you complaining so, about? So the next line was... Uh, <laughs> what, you feel bad for the lady in the back? Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah, her. Right. She should have got up. Yeah. And we didn't have any complaints. Yeah. But, the, but, the la but the lady said, she goes, uh, I'm just trying to understand your uh, business more. Why did you do buffet <laughs> versus plate at dinner? And I go, my brother-in-law is the executive chef. He handles all the food. She goes, I love the biscuits. And that was the end. <laughs> yeah. like, Listen, like, I'll take feedback if you want to invest. All right, bitch? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Fucking... But, but people right. kill me. Wild, like unsolicited. Yeah, I would okay. never fucking hit somebody up and be like, "Hey, I didn't like that." I just don't go to it. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's every dude, fucking it's, time. Uh, yeah, I'm an dude. old school guy like that too. Like, it's just, just don't like it. If you dude. don't, if you're at something and you're halfway through, you don't like it. You fucked up. Exactly. It's not me. What do am I going to change my fucking act? Do a little yeah. research before the show. Yeah. Right, right, right. Somebody right. came up to me recently and said, uh, "Hey, I, I was at this show over the summer. It was really disappointing. I was expecting such great. I thought he was going to be great. Who'd you think he was going to be like? And then we'd be like, I thought you'd be more like." You know who fucking was that she was disappointed? Who? David Tell. Oh, uh, yeah. Fucking That's nuts. fucking nuts. I got to do a guest spot on his show like <laughs> oh a God. year ago. And that motherfucker went out and murdered like insanely hard. And they came back in the green room. He's like, how was that? I was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> fucking right. Yeah, I'd be like fucking strutting in. I'd tell you all not to look at me. Yeah. If I crush that hard, I'm like, look at you fucking losers. Yeah. Strut your stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to hang out with you, you should, anymore. You should quit. You? you should quit. You should quit. <laughs> yeah. 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 Strut your stuff like the mascot like, for the peacock. For real? Like, what the fuck, dude? Insanity. I'm like, you just played a recorder on stage and somehow it was hilarious. Dude, the fucking recorder. Hot cross yeah. buns. Well, we talked fucking about this nuts. on the podcast before. The first time he came here, he goes, uh, who and who's the guest spot? Guess that. Yeah, he gives a guess spot. No, I know, but like I, apparently like, I, I every was show. Like, oh my god, who are you bringing? He goes, oh my god, aren't you running a comedy festival? <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's goes, fucking funny, dude. Aren't there twenty guys in the back? Grab one by the ear. And throw them on <laughs> yeah, stage. just grab. So I, I picked Brendan and Buddy. Hell yeah! And as soon as I'm introduced to Brendan, he goes, "Oh, I'm nice to meet you. I'm Dave." He goes, thanks so much for doing yeah, this. Yeah, he's a fucking Bre sweet guy. I, I looked at Brendan's face. It was like blown away. Yeah, like, yeah. Dude, we were drinking. Did David Tell just thank me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. smoking cigs Incredible. inside. Great guy. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> he was like, do you mind? I was like, do you mind? <laughs> I was like, what can I? I'm going to fucking shoot heroin. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, no, he's the man. <laughs> fucking A, man. But yeah, people who do that the shit best. drive me fucking nuts. But then I'd like, be like, that doesn't bother, it doesn't bother me in the moment. Then like three days later, I'm like, I fucking hate that guy. Yeah, totally. I that fucking hate burn. him. Yeah, I'll be furious at <laughs> Like my be mean to my girlfriend, I'm like fuck you. 
Yeah, fucking misdirected anger. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> Here's specifically why I didn't like yeah. you, Ryan. Yeah, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm so glad you're so accessible. Fucking, yeah, dude, it kills <laughs> me. By the oh, way, so I saw that you've seen it. I've seen it. You've seen it. <laughs> yeah, okay? I've seen it. You've seen it. <laughs> People are fucking nuts. Not me. I'm perfectly sane. <laughs> right. Yeah, totally. Dude. I got it together. Dude, so what did like, <laughs> what the fuck was the canceling attempt? Oh, dude, I called... I, the Eagles, I can't believe it took minute 16. This is going to hey. be good. I fucking... Joel has an internal clock. <laughs> 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 16.02. Surprising. Well, you already said I called this. So <laughs> might, well, might as well confirm. Checks out. <laughs> you know, one you big guy. <laughs> you, can't, you can't exploit me. I'm going to exploit myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm the whore and the pimp. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> no, but this one. Uh, so so dude, tell the, me about the this. Eagles tweeted a video of Nick Sirianni, and I was like, oh, he's a lovable wigger, right? Oh, yeah. I called him a wigger, and uh, I the worst part was I tweeted it, and I meant to say but retard. You're, you're white. You're calling a white guy. Yeah, and like yeah, I got it from. I've, I've said that my whole childhood. Like that was like a thing yeah, growing a, up. Yeah, I, and. Uh, yeah. It was white guys who acted black because they liked black culture. Right. (laughs) Right. And then, so I tweeted that, and the worst part was I wanted to say retarded wigger. So I went and deleted it. So you were annoyed you left the word retarded? So I started to read. I'm allowed to say my sister's retarded. He deleted it. Another one I'm allowed to say. He deleted so he could double down (laughs) on the offensive. No, but I fucking deleted it, and Twitter has like a delay. (laughs) And uh, I got the notifications, and I was like, damn it, that was getting likes? And I clicked the notifications, and it was just some lady retweeted it, and she's like, this is some racist shit. And I was like, what? And she was like, this guy said that white, he, he called, he said that I was calling other white guys N-word lovers. And I was like, that's not even, Incorrect. like, I was, tr- I was trying to put together what they were accusing me of. I'm like, oh, this is a, like a mentally ill person. <laughs> and then um, I kept, I'm so fucking dumb with my phone. I kept getting um, notifications. So I was listening to music at the gym. And my phone kept being like, ding, ding. I'm like, what the fuck? So I went private so that only I would get notifications of people I followed notified me. So then it looked like I went private because I was scared. Oh, shit. So then Peggy O'Leary called me and she was like, hey, is this, are you okay? I was like, yeah, why? And she was like, oh, I, I saw you went private. So people are accusing you of being scared. So I Wrong reopened guy. it. <laughs> I reopened guy. it and some lady was like, uh, or this guy, the guy who really... Did you get a I, lot of followers from this? So many. That's so awesome. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Sorry, uh, the promoter dude, of me fu- is like, fucking worked. Ahead. I was like, thank you. I'll say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking spray painted on my... I'll fucking tattoo it on my forehead. <laughs> Wigger lover. <laughs> and uh, no, so this guy, like, I guess he found my Instagram and screenshot a picture of me. It was pretty funny because it was me drunk at a wedding with like a flower bouquet and a suit. And uh, this guy was like, this is Ryan Foster. He's a comedian something he's like twitter do your thing like i was gonna get canceled i'm like dude i work construction <laughs> you think i'm gonna get canceled for racism good dude. luck i'll get promoted <laughs> i'm like like what are you gonna cancel me from fucking local comedy shows good luck dude dude I the just... union makes you your president he, dude it was i was like they'll put rims on my van <laughs> fucking get out of here and uh the dude just kept he but then i was like because it was early in the morning i was like dude wait till podcast fans wake up Cause they all wake like all the dudes from Dad Meat, like all the dudes from like that follow like Durag, and they all woke up and started just fucking attacking this oh, guy. And it was, dude, it was so fucking funny. Cause there was also guys, the guy not even in Philly. He's like a huge Eagles fan. Then you look it up, he's like, "You're in North Carolina, pussy. Shut North up. Carolina. You live in a racist state." Shit, I uh, became a fan in 2018. <laughs> dude, it's crazy. <laughs> and uh, no, but he, I forget he. Um, I forget what I was just gonna say. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. Oh, dude, there was guys that like like keep retweeting my picture. And be like, this guy looks like a little pussy. I'd knock him out. And I was like, ah, come to Helium tonight, 10 o'clock. I'll fucking <laughs> yeah. knock your teeth out of your throat, dude. <laughs> they have no idea who they're talking yeah, about. I'll be like, I will be here at yeah. 10 o'clock. Show up. I'll yeah. spike if, you if like I a show, fucking wall If I showed up thinking I was looking, coming to find a pussy, I'd be like, <laughs> he's oh, like, fuck. He's like, this yeah. guy's little. Yeah. Some guy tried to fight me at Helium like three weeks ago. Really? He, he duck, looks duck, st- duck. Yeah, I was like, go for it, dog. Go for it. <laughs> yeah. He got up and started walking towards the stage, and I didn't move. And I was like, oh, it's bigger than you thought, right? Uh, <laughs> because he got, like, close. I was like, yeah, hey, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, dude. Oh, well, oh he's in front of you at Helium? Yeah, he's like, started walking up, and the security guard, Mike, started walking towards the stage. I was like, you're good. And then Mike was like, ah, oh, you fucked up. <laughs> he's like, it's going to be worse. <laughs> so I just started attacking him and his two friends. They were like fucking dudes who live in Rittenhouse Square. I was like, you guys are all going to get beat up and have to go home to your fat wives. <laughs> And be like, what happened? I was like, I got beat up by a comedian. One, <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah. And when was this? This was like, not even like a month ago, a month and a half ago. Jeez. Unrelated. These are white guys. You're right. <laughs> I was like, what? not what? even wiggers, yeah. probably. Not no, not even close. <laughs> and when was the tweet? 
Oh, uh, the tweet was maybe a month ago, something like that. Oh, it's also yeah. yeah. Well, I had a busy month. Yeah, you've been busy, bro. Yeah, very busy. Yeah. Gathering but the fans. But everything's good now. <laughs> I love yeah. it, dude. Oh, that's I love right. it. Yeah, be, be, oh. yeah, it might have been like three. I don't know, dude. My concept of time is well, no, time I is an illusion. Take a step back because, <laughs> oh, geez, getting heavy over here. Alex <laughs> Huxley over here. <laughs> <laughs> because now I'm remembering that uh, we had Rob and. Uh, gym right after that yeah totally dude and uh, then, so it must have been like that day well, yeah once, it was pretty once close I to started it started talking that afterward i realized that you you go are we still good and were you were, were you legit? oh i wasn't talking about that okay because okay, I, I know he was one might have been saying no was, yeah no i don't i must have been referring to something else i don't know well no no, no okay i i think you couldn't find the link or something like that and i I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that was because I'm so fucking dumb. I was like, no, I couldn't no, find no. it. I was and, like, and, and honestly, that's I what I assumed. that was the date. <laughs> I was like, was that the wrong date? You assumed I was a <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> you want to blow me, and you're nagging me. <laughs> I'm on your couch. <laughs> it's the wrong way, dude. I'm supposed to nag you. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, what I. I assumed you were being a comedian and not being organized. Oh, dude, and, and yeah, one hundred percent. That's but then I but think then, I wrote it down and then looked somewhere and I was like, "Am I dumb? Did I write down the wrong day?" No, so that, so that. I mean, and then Joel was like, "I don't care if you're racist, bro." Shows him up. You said you got more followers. Yeah, yeah, still still up. <laughs> you're in, brother. Yeah, you just got to raise. Yeah, I'm doing the dome, brother. While you're Let's at it, do my podcast, my yeah. co-host Remember, never wears work. anything but an Eagles jersey. My clothes. <laughs> 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 True. My clothes True. are burning across. We're like, let's go. <laughs> like, I'm just kidding again. Yeah. <laughs> jokes, people. Jokes. Mm. Yeah. No. <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, well, that's so funny. You thought that was it, and then Robin well, and Jim came here. Like, is Ryan okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, well, no. so that's I was chilling. I yeah. was eating dumplings on the couch, getting called raises. I was like, shit's good over here, chief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm crazy. No, because so many times comics mess with me, and like they are like, and you can't tell via text, but I just always assume oh, they're dude. messing with me. So then when that happened, I go, oh, you just mixed up the dates. Yeah. But then Rob, Rob and Jim were like. Like he might get canceled. I go, oh, was that what that was? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I was like, no, nah, brother. I'm, yeah, I'm like you your headline. Yeah, like, <laughs> hell yeah, we're yeah. gravy. I, I would, I would have called that no, our yeah. November heat. Yeah, <laughs> you, oh, you do it. Dude, the idea of canceling Foster is so fucking. I mean, funny I can't get me. canceled yeah. from anything. I'm not. Nothing's happening. Look up five <laughs> seconds chilling. of any clip out there. Well, that's why I mean? I'm also like, <laughs> hey, I'm the only white guy in Philly who does every black show. I'm the only one. I'm like, go for it, dude. All the black people, like all the my black friends, are like, what'd you do? <laughs> like yeah, fucking right. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it was fine. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. dude, it's, it's another. Well, t- Twitter's fucking fake. Unless you like do something actually horrible, right, then right, you'll right. get exposed. I'm like, go expose me, dude. I'll give a fuck. Yeah. People kept DMing me on Instagram, like you have like your request folder or whatever, mm-hmm. and people would be like, "Were you that guy that said something racist on Twitter the other day?" And I'd just say yes and then block them. <laughs> like, fuck, that's hilarious. I'm gonna argue with a grown man on Twitter? Nah. You might have lost a couple fans. They might have been. Uh... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He might have been joking around. Too late. Yeah, I don't know. I love it, dude. That's so awesome. I don't, so I don't awesome. have time for the follow-up. Yeah, three yeah, annoying yeah. guys. If yeah. I have to think about it, they're out. Yeah, you gotta go. It's too late. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking great, man. I only block dudes, not hot chicks. Yeah, There's there you no, go. Yeah. I'll try to f- win them over, but no. Solid policy. Yeah. <laughs> Strict. I can get with that policy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What else you got for yeah, me? Yeah, there, oh. there was a few more that I want to get into. Yeah, yeah. It hit me. Let's see. Oh, oh. This is like the poorest version of Inside the Actor Studio ever. Totally, yeah, <laughs> dude, totally. What is your favorite curse word? I think we've covered that. Right? Yeah. Um, oh, dude, the uh, the uh, Ken- Kenpo thing as a kid. Oh, my God, dude. Holding pads and shit. My stepdad was like a fucking roided out psycho when I was a kid. <laughs> and, uh... We would like watch. He didn't drink, but like he would fucking he would get all hopped up on like vanilla. Remember when vanilla coke hit the street? Oh hell yeah! He would get all fucking hopped up on that. <laughs> We'd watch a Steven Seagal movie, and then he'd be like, "Let me practice something on you." And then he would just fucking wail on me with like the kickboxing pads. He'd be like, "Stop fucking moving!" I'm like, "Dude, I'm 11, and you're on fucking Winstraw. Jack- like, what the <laughs> fuck?" <laughs> We'd just be in the basement, and there was like. Dude, there was days where he would like practice like spinning back kicks for like 20 minutes, and then like fall into like a DVD rack. <laughs> It was a fucking shit show. There's not really much to that. Like, when I tell people, I'm like, I definitely have CTE from that. Oh, but, shit. But, yeah. Dude, he would that, make me hold beating just yeah, the pads, man. He yeah. would bring me to, like, I forget where the gym. There was this dude named Cliff Jewell. Cliff Jewell? Who had a gym in, um, it was right by Doylestown Youth Prison. Whatever that fucking, I guess that's Doylestown? I don't know. But he would drive me up there, and I would just watch a bunch of grown men fight in a basement. I was like, kind of gay. <laughs> <laughs> and, then I, <laughs> and then I got older. And I, yeah, just that's how I got into that shit. <laughs> 
Because I was like, I need to be able to beat up my dad. And then once I turned like 18, I was like, I'm eight inches taller than him, so we should be. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to think by, we're by default. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> eventually, I'm like, he's pretty arthritic now. Yeah. yeah, he dude, he's like six. I think he just turned 61, and he still gets into like public confrontations. No shit. Dude, he, he called me the other day because he'll like lie to my mom about what happened, and then he'll call me and tell me. It's so funny because that's like where I got my personality from. Uh, what you call like he raised me and uh, I was talking. You know Naeem Ali. Yeah, yeah, sure. He was like we were fucking talking the one night and he's like, dude, that he was like you have little man syndrome because I got raised by a little guy. Oh, that's funny. So I think of myself as like a fucking five. Like I, that's I'm always funny, like, what the fuck are you looking at? Yeah. <laughs> and my girl, my girlfriend's always like, can you fucking relax? Like I'm more. Chill. But he got in a fucking. He called me. He was at Acme, and he was walking. He said I was coming down like the beer aisle, the Acme. <laughs> And uh, I used to call it the food store, and people think that's an insane thing to call a grocery store. I call it the food store. My mom calls it the food store. But he's walking <laughs> down an aisle, and he said, like, some guy was, like, talk. two guys were talking on the phone, like, blocking him, and he kept saying, excuse me, and eventually he's like, dickhead, move. <laughs> and he fucking walks by, and the guy was like, uh, he said something to him, and he's like, shut the fuck up. And the guy was like, I'm blind. Oh, shit. That he blocked. And he's like, he's like, yeah, my back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> like, he didn't even stop him when he knew he was blind. Dude, he's funny. My but yeah, hurts. yeah. And then the guy, he said the guy was like, say it to my face. He's like, how would you know? <laughs> and I was like, fuck, dude. So funny. But he'll like <laughs> scrape his shopping cart down the side of people's cars. He's fucking out of his oh, mind. Jesus, but he also like can't walk. So I'm like, dude, you're gonna get the fuck beat out of you by like a twenty five year old. Yeah, 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 it's not if it's when. Yeah, it's happening. Is he all like uh, ex kickboxer broken down? Yeah, he's all fu- well, he's fucking steroid broken down. He was oh. like, dude, he, I get you know, he's like sixty, so he was like twenty five in like the eighties. So they were all fucking shooting like methyl oh. testosterone in their ass in like garages and shit. Oh dude, yeah. Yeah, he's a madman. I'm forty nine, so I was I was like ten but, yeah. days, but I knew dude, the dude. Yeah, so all my it. fart yeah, he's a spaz. But yeah. He's gonna get on TRT now and get jacked again. Oh, buddy! Let's go. Hey, man. Let's got go. him hooked up. That's get him in some to, road rage incidents. You used to want to get into the tax bracket to get like that second home in Florida. Yeah. Now you need now to get you into just, the tax bracket to afford TRT. Dude, that's what I. I can't <laughs> wait till I'm like 50 and just do roids. I want to like that hot dog skin. You know what I'm yeah, talking about? Totally, that's dude. nice. Totally like Rogan. Yeah, that's what I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah, I want that hot dog. Yeah, skin. you used to have to get that by being like a like a like a cowboy for 35. Yeah, years. Yeah, not anymore. Not anymore. No, now you just shoot just, it right so up. Yeah, just shoot it up. <laughs> you look like dog shit, but it'll rule. <laughs> yeah, and that's you'll be, living. You be kicking ass yeah. as well as you were. Beat up my were 17 fucking years daughter's old. boyfriends and shit. <laughs> that's gonna be the move. <laughs> yeah, Dude. you gonna have more kids? I'll see. That's not like I didn't play in this one, so yeah, well, <laughs> I'm Catholic, dude. It's just like if it happens, it happens. <laughs> you know, you, he, pay annou- attention, he, we know. Yeah. he announced it for the first time on our podcast back oh, in. Uh, yeah, yeah. In, well, uh, I think Fidel whatever that was. Set, like everybody knew, but I get I didn't know it was bad luck to tell people or not. You're not supposed to tell people, right? For three months. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, a thing. Yeah, well, like, my cum, my cum's too good. <laughs> I think it's gonna be fine. Uh, it, you knew it was sticking. Yeah, well, it's sticking, brother. <laughs> yeah. Super smart. But yeah, we're good. So w- when's the due date? December twenty second. Oh uh, shit! Yeah, that bitch is coming. Wow, you gotta have a, like a Christmas time baby. Yeah, she's getting huge. That's awesome. Now my girl's fucking big. <laughs> well, it, it, First time I ever fucked a fat lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> getting head from a pregnant chick's nuts. Cause oh. You're looking down, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I got head from a pregnant lady in Wildwood one time. When I was like two, it was 2010. I didn't know she was pregnant. She knew she was pregnant, and I was like drunk. I went over to her house, and then she blew me. I was like, what the fuck? Terrible person. <laughs> me and my buddy went to the baby's christening, though. You went to the christening? Yeah. Her boyfriend went to jail. So I was like, I got to step in. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I swear to God. I didn't know she was pregnant. Like, she, apparently she knew and just didn't tell anybody. I guess her friend knew. And they lived, the, we, me and my boys used to rent beach houses. Like, we, we used to rent, like, a shitty fucking you, condo you in Wildwood. You kept in touch with them all Hell season? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, she was so fucking hot. She was so hot. But, yeah, I've had a beautiful little girl, I think. <laughs> Stop talking to her. She yeah. got a boyfriend. I was like, all right, beat it. <laughs> and Wait, she had a new boyfriend, not in jail. Yeah, she got a regular dork. All those girls who get like jail boyfriends, they always date like an accountant afterwards, totally, even out. Man. Yeah, I need yeah. to they, they, secure they over, my future. They, they overcorrect the course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're not looking for the wild. Boy. Yeah, no, it's over. <laughs> I've calmed down in my old age, dude. Yeah, th- <laughs> yeah, I've noticed. Yeah, yeah. I'm chill now. <laughs> so mellow. Well, <laughs> I had to ask the due date because for so long you've been calling it your your baby's mama. Yeah, but it's not your baby's not born yet. It'll come. <laughs> I'm confident. 
That bitch is coming. <laughs> I came. It will come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I already got the neck tattoo planned. It's coming. <laughs> the tattoo planned. Yeah. Oh, right on. Are you right get on. The other sleeve or? Yeah, I'm gonna finish that one. I got my le- like part of my leg done. Got- my, one of my best friends is a tattoo artist, so. I basically only get tattooed when he has free time. Like okay. If I had to pay for tattoos, I wouldn't have any. Right. Probably. I think the f- I paid for my first tattoo. I got my in- my inside of my lip tattooed. Oh, What's shit. What's it say? What's my last name? Oh, okay. real white trash. Oh, fuck yeah. Well, they said it was supposed to come real, off. Real Trevo shit. Dude, me and my co- <laughs> I went. This is another dirt ball. Because I my my cousins they went to college. So I went. To, I would go to spring break with them every year, and I was like an electrician. Oh, you would just like save up your personal days. Yeah, I was oh, like, we're good. I need awesome. some PTO, chief. That's awesome. I would just tell them, like, yeah, I'm a Penn State. I'm pre law, and uh, we would go to. We were in like I forget, like <laughs> Jamaica. Or, I don't know where the fuck we went. <laughs> yeah. this say but pre-law? me and my, my my two cousins. I'm like they're like basically my brothers. They're twins. They're like a year younger than me. Okay. And we went to the tattoo parlor, and we were all supposed to get our last name. And my third cousin came out, and he ha- we were like, "What'd you get?" He got our fucking hotel room number tattooed on him because he <laughs> thought he could. He thought he could walk up to chicks and be like, "Yeah, world two, come over." <laughs> yeah. well, the follow through there though, because he wasn't always gonna. He wasn't gonna have that. Well, dude, room the worst. Available. Well, the worst was we fucking we didn't know you had to put Vaseline on it after you got it. So we like went out drinking that night, and then woke up and they didn't have them. So we went back and made them put them back on for free. Oh, the shit. next day, I was like, "Why we could have just got away with that?" Yeah, dude, that's hilarious. That's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> we were like nine. T- I think I was like nine. I might have been nineteen. They were eighteen. They, yeah, they couldn't <laughs> look past the perfect. week. They're Young like, lads, <laughs> man. Well, it's the only inside your live. You guys would have known. Yeah, yeah, right. I never, never noticed. Till later. Never noticed. <laughs> well, don't, I, I, you have a mom tat, don't you? Yeah, I got my mom's name tattooed on me. Yeah. That was the, that was the move. That was like the first visible one I got, so you can't get yelled at that. You, I can't, couldn't, that was like the planning. I was like, uh, get her name. Uh, what, are you going to yell at me for getting your name tattooed is, on you? Does the rose also go with that? Or? No, that was just filler. I don't know. That's my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> that's my ex-girlfriend no, I, I, say, always tell, I always tell people Those are my ex-girlfriends Like really? I'm like no I'm not a fucking idiot So is the, so is the skull and crossbones Yeah She's dead I buried her <laughs> My grandmother's <laughs> Fucking get too lippy There's opinions yeah, Ironically so your cousins <laughs> Burn a pork chop You're fucking going in the ground Alright <laughs> Just kidding pork. again Who says that uh, Bill Burr You cooked the shit out of it <laughs> Yeah But yeah What else we got <laughs> What else do we have? So what kind of action movies did you watch with your uh, Oh, my God. Was all, he Steven guy? Seagal. My mom loved fucking Die Hard, so I saw all that. Oh. My, it was so my weird. Mom's like, a, my mom's a big so Die Hard It's so funny. Person. My mom was like, I love Die Hard. And then you look back, you're like, oh, my mom wanted to fuck Bruce Willis. That's 100% it. Yeah. 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 So I like, the same didn't realization realization like with, Die Hard. It's not like a good movie. Same realization with my mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now you see what came for him. What did he get? He has some kind of disease. He's got something, yeah. Something, not good. Yeah, no. Shout out Bruce Willis. Yeah. Now, Wasn't he banging Demi... More yeah. back in the oh, day, yeah, they were they were, yeah. Uh, they were technically married. Shut up, Demi Moore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a, 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 a porn. Way to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this will bring. Now right my back. girl's gonna start bringing this up. <laughs> this, will, this will bring it right back to the yeah. coolness of Bruce because I saw a porn chick one time on Stern back when all he had was porn chicks. Nice. And uh, now he's like a fucking total pussy. Oh, right? he's a total pussy. God. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, he grew. <laughs> what the fuck Shut up. up. <laughs> he grew into an annoying lady. <laughs> But this chick talked about how uh, Bruce Willis would bang her in the ass, and he was really great at it. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. So boom. I like that. That's good Shout stuff. Shout out Bruce Willis. One time I banged a chick in the ass, and she fell out of a shower and broke her arm. <laughs> in Wildwood, too. Of all places. We were like, we were fucking hammered. And uh, like, we're hammered banging in the shower, and she fell out. I was like, geez. Like, we were both like stumbling drunk. We were like fucking 22. And the next day, we're walking to the beach. She's like, my arm's like been killing me. And then I left. I left for the week. And then came back the next week and just in a cash. She's like, I broke my fucking arm. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank God you didn't get my name. <laughs> fucking could have ruined me. <laughs> and it was a black chick. Oh, hey. Did yeah. you, so not racist. Yeah, that's right. Did you guys keep in touch? I mean, you did Yeah, I think arm. she's in fucking, I think she ended up being a heroin addict eventually. <laughs> I swear to God. I think she moved down to Florida. Anytime anybody moves she, to it Florida. It was probably that, because of the painkiller she yeah. took from breaking that arm. Ooh. She <laughs> don't put that on me, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to be she, thinking about that. She now. didn't move. They call that rehab. <laughs> yeah. 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 That was every friend that I had that moved to Florida when they were like 24. I was like, they got you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> What can you do? Oh, shit. Hope she's well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, it's fucking awesome. I forgot about that. Wait, when, when you shot up to 6'5", did, uh, did you start playing any, any sports in high school? No. No, I, told, I played football, and then I, yeah, you fucking play around with some huge dudes, and you're like, hmm, not for me. I'm going to sell weed. When did you start actually doing competitive kickboxing? Um, 
Like I would always, I did it on and like I would do, I kickboxed on and off when I like young, like trained, mm -hmm. and then probably when I was like tw twenty one. Okay, that was when you. No, no, your... no, because it was right. I, it was probably nineteen twenty. 18, 19, 20, and then 22, I stopped. And then, because I, I got a job doing electric work in, like, Virginia or some shit. Oh, shit. And, uh, like, I would just travel there. And then I quit that after, like, three weeks. It's like, all my boys were fucking doing young, you know what I mean? Like, getting beach houses. I was like, this sucks, dude. <laughs> Lay me off. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I went back to it, and then I was like, this fuck. I started doing, like, jujitsu and shit. And then, like, yeah, my body, I don't know. I'm, like, one of the dudes that always gets hurt. So I'm like, right on. what up, dog? <sighs> There's the cum cleanup guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> so to, check out his podcast, Foster yeah, Care. Foster Care, baby. Foster Care, baby. Hell yeah. Thanks yeah. for having me, We're boys. looking forward to the Dirty Show, man. Hell yeah. yeah me keep too. Keep your eyes open for this man on our lineup. So God bless. Him. Yeah. I'll be back. When's it? When am I back? Uh, is that January? Yeah, yeah. Some shit. Yeah. If that baby pops out. Oh, nice. God nice. bless us all. Well, Hell maybe, yeah. maybe we'll have a couple of fundraisers before that. Yeah, I'll come do a fundraiser. There I just did a fucking suicide prevention show like two weeks ago. Unrelated. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I did. And that the apparent, it was like a, yeah, a suicide prevention show. I was like, can I do like my jokes <laughs> about suicide? They were like, yeah, for sure. And I fucking, I was like having a great set and I closed on one. I was like, ah, well, we had fun for 17 minutes. <laughs> God bless. And then they were like, yeah, the guy, the show's for a guy who killed himself and his family's here. I'm like, well, fucking tell me that. I wouldn't have done it. Yeah, right. And you asked. Ask? I asked him. The guy yeah. who ran the show. Like you, you I was like, is this cool? I was like, you know my act. Yeah. They're like, what the fuck? Yeah. But yeah. Still got paid. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. God bless Solid. him. Yeah. For Ryan Foster, Alan Hill, Soul Joel. Bring him out. Ta-ta.